Hi everyone, John Corns here. Uh, hashtag J Corns the Realtor with Braden, 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 located right here in the great city of Memphis, Tennessee. So I just want to talk briefly on uh, the non settlement and the implications of commissions that it has when a buyer's agent is looking to seek compensation from, for, for the services uh, from the seller or i.e. the listing agent. So again, um, we have what you call uh, cooperative uh, compensation where the listing agent, let's say I list a property, I go to my, my seller, Mr. or Miss Seller, hey, I will list your property, market it, uh, and get it sold for 6% commission. And uh, of course, again, that's negotiable, but let's say it's 6% you know, commission for the purpose of this illustration. But I'm going to split that commission with another agent who brings in a buyer. They sign the agreement. So uh, the compensation agreement is, is uh, also set in stone. Uh, the listing agreement is set in stone. I list the property, a buyer then brings another person to purchase the property and he or she is demanding commission to get paid for their services. But they put in the PSA, Purchase and Sale Agreement, that the seller is to pay, let's say theoretically, 3% commission to the buyer's agent or the buyer's listing broker. So I t spoke with the Tennessee Realtors Legal and Ethics Hotline because to me that was stacking commission. And what I mean by stacking commission, I already have a, an agreement from my seller to say that they're going to pay 6% commission. But then if a buyer's agent writes in the PSA, Purchase and Sale Agreement, that the seller is to pay 3%, then that is a total of 9% obligation for my seller to pay in commission. And I've told them a few agents this, and they were like, no, 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 this is the way it should be done. In fact, it is not the way to be done. We still have a co-op agreement here in the state of Tennessee. I think Mississippi is transitioning. I'm licensed in Mississippi also. Mississippi is transitioning to have the commission in, in the PSA, the Purchase and Sale Agreement. But for right now, Tennessee does not have that commission line in the PSA. We still have a co-op agreement. So if you are putting commissions in the PSA and the listing agent is saying, I have a co-op agreement, that is going to govern the commission Per Tennessee Realtors Legal and Ethics Hotline, State of Tennessee, that is correct. So let's do it the right way. Of course, you know, as the forms change and uh, you know up updates are made regarding the settlement agreement, you know, this video may change. But for right now, that's the way to do it. Okay. If you have any questions, give me a call. Nine zero one. 881-2070 or just shoot me a DM. Thanks.